So this exercise is the cable chest press and with this exercise your range of motion should be just like you would for a dumbbell chest press. Um, it's very easy to confuse this with flies because you're using the cables you might end up doing flies but check yourself make sure you're not doing flies and with this one on the eccentric make sure that your elbows are bent um, as you can see from the video and at the top straighten your arm and squeeze at the top. Cables are very good for keeping tension throughout and the exercise as you can tell from the video my hands are shaking which is because i'm really struggling to um to keep the the cable stable also with reps wise and sets um here i did three sets for five to eight reps i tried to go eight to ten reps but i couldn't um probably because of the way i was i wasn't feeling great on that day but um five to eight reps is good for hypertrophy and strength and three sets as well also make sure that you're using a decent weight so a weight that's not too heavy that you can't press and a weight that's not too light that you know it's just easy so find a balance somewhere in between um, where you're kind of struggling to lift it but you know it's still movable um, and something that can make you hit that five to eight reps not with too much ease but not just you know so much struggle I think you know what I mean. Okay, so the next exercise is the cable chest flies. So with this exercise, I moved the backrest of the seat up a little bit just to try and get the bench in sort of an inclined position. Because even though I'm doing flies, I'm also trying to hit the upper chest at the same time. So that's why I moved the backrest up. And with this one, don't confuse this with the chest press. This one, make sure that your elbows are locked in place. So I'm not bending my elbows on the eccentric. I'm keeping it locked in place and the movement is sort of all on the shoulder hinge. You know, so it's it's putting a lot of tension on the pecs due to the fact that I'm not bending my elbows. Also, you need to make sure that you're doing a very controlled eccentric. So it's fine to kind of explode when coming up, but when you're going down in the eccentric, make sure that you're controlling the weight. This keeps constant um, tension in the muscles which is very good for hypertrophy also for the reps i kept my reps between five to eight again um for three sets i mean if you want to go up for more than eight reps you can you know it's very possible just make sure that you're using a decent weight that's not too heavy and that's not too light just somewhere in between to get you to those reps the next exercise is the high flies so this one is a little bit of a weird angle so you're pulling the cables from the top um, but if you think about it it's actually just like doing a decline bench press it's sort of the same motion but uh, from a different angle it's targeting mostly the lower part of your pecs just like all the previous exercises make sure that you're keeping a controlled eccentric just to keep a constant tension in the muscles and when you get to the bottom make sure that you're squeezing to get a lot of blood flowing in the muscles this is very essential for growth and strength and for sets wise and reps i did three sets for five to eight reps again um i mean also don't forget there are some points in these um workout where i did more than eight reps so what i did was i lowered the weight and then did some extra reps that's also possible if you want to do that you can so when you get stuck you can lower the weights and then do the do some more reps so yeah this is the end of the workout so the main points are make sure that you're using decent amount of weight make sure that all your eccentrics are controlled so that you keep constant tension in the muscles and also make sure that you're using proper form well thank you guys for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it i will try and do more videos like this because i feel like sometimes my videos tend to be way too long so i try and do sort of short videos like this I'm um, explaining my workouts and what I'm doing and some main points. So you guys don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share and I will see you in the next video.
Peace.